Our next guest is joining us from the West Coast on the Notre Dame Day Hotline. Rob Little is an executive with Golden Gate Capital. While Rob lives in the Bay Area, he comes back to campus often because he has formed a special connection with a special group of students. Thanks for joining us, Rob. Thank you for having me, Jack. I'm excited to be with you. We're excited to have you. Tell us a little bit about the work you do. So I'm a managing director at Golden Gate Capital, which is a private equity firm based in San Francisco. And at a high level, we raise capital from institutional investors, so endowments, charitable foundations, sovereign wealth funds, and the such. And uh, we invest that capital in late-stage operating companies where we believe there's an opportunity to improve operations, earnings, and franchise value. And when we do that successfully, um, we're able to transform the companies and create attractive returns for those investors. Now you have an MBA from Duke, but your degree from Notre Dame is in English. How did your ND degree provide the foundation that has launched such a successful career? Well, I often tell young people who ask about my career that majoring in English was one of the smartest decisions I've ever made. I, I think in business or in many walks of life, you know, how you communicate with others through the written word is extremely important. So my English degree, I think, pushed me to learn to organize, organize my thoughts in a way that was clear and compelling. And um, it's been an incredibly useful asset uh, to me in the field I've chosen to pursue. I had a journalism, broadcast journalism professor had an office with 100 signs in it, and they all said, good writing, good writing, good writing. And people said, well, you're a broadcast professor, but if you can write well, then you can speak well. And I know you have to make presentations. Do you think it helps people verbally communicate if they have that English basis of being a very good writer? I could not agree more, Jack, and I absolutely do. I think it's been incredibly helpful in making a persuasive argument, um, in, at least in the investment field, and then also in just helping to explain your, your thinking to others in a way that can influence in a positive way you know, the outcome of a decision or judgment. I know for anyone who goes here, certainly anybody even visits Notre Dame, but if you go to Notre Dame, it's a very special place. I know you have many memories. Which memories stand out for you when you think of Notre Dame? Well, I, I have an interesting one because, um, uh, you know, there, there's a lot to choose from. But if I had to go with one, it would be the 1988 Miami-Notre Dame game, which was the first college football game that my then-girlfriend and now wife, Renee, had ever been to. She's Canadian and obviously was partial to hockey. But it was, um, you know, an unbelievable game, a moment in, in Notre Dame football history, and the energy that day was just incredibly electric. And when the game was over, she said to me, that was unbelievable. I can't believe you go to games like that every weekend. Tell us a little bit about, if you can, your work with the Ambrose Scholars Initiative. So, you know, the Ambrose program was started by Tony and Bay Walters, who um, were the first in their respective families to attend college. And more importantly, they're both incredibly accomplished, successful people who are also extremely kind and generous. Um, and they started the Ambrose program. It's named after their two sons, who are both Notre Dame grads. And it provides scholarships to first-generation, under-resourced students. And what they've done with the program is create a family community of student scholars, the Ambrose scholars, with a group of mentors who help the program. And so as Renee and I were thinking about where we wanted to focus our philanthropic activities, uh, we were introduced to Tony and Bay by uh, the team at Notre Dame, and we realized immediately just how unique the program was, how special the people were. And a core belief of Tony and Bay in starting the program is that these young scholars who've often faced and overcome tremendous adversity in their lives, when they're given the proper resources and mentorship, they're the types of people who are going to change the world for the better. And so having been involved for five years now, it's just clear to us that that, is, uh, that belief is absolutely valid. It's been wonderful to be a part of it. Rob, we really appreciate your taking time to share your story. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Have a great day.